Construction sites, aggregate plants, and other job sites all require special care from drivers. Regardless of what truck a driver operates, there are some basic safety precautions that you need to take when entering any job site. Turn on your headlights when you arrive at the site. This makes it easier for others to see your truck. Drive slowly and use extreme caution. Be on alert for people walking, standing, or sitting near your truck's path. You also need to watch out for a variety of hazards, including trenches, pipes, tools, machinery, power lines, uneven ground, and potholes. But most importantly, you need to watch out for people walking around the site. Some job sites or aggregate plants have very specific safety rules that must be followed. Make sure you are familiar with the safety rules wherever you drive your truck. Traffic signs and speed limits were established to control traffic and make traveling through the site safe. Slow down and be patient. Look out for people, objects, and other hazards. One collision can cost you all the time you have saved and may cost someone's life. When you exit the cab, don't jump out, even if you think the ground is soft. Use the three points of contact method for a safe dismount every time. When you do leave the cab, be sure to wear the personal protective equipment. Hard hats are universally required. Some locations also require that you wear safety glasses and a reflective vest. When walking around a job site, Look out for uneven ground, holes, and any other trip hazards. And watch out for moving equipment. Are you going to come back and dump that? Uh, yes, sir. Here in a little bit. Instructions for dumping come from the site foreman, in person, by radio, by hand gestures, or by flaggers. Before backing up, check your mirrors again to ensure they are adjusted properly so you have a clear view of what is behind and beside your truck. Make sure everyone around your vehicle is aware of your truck's movement. Maintain eye contact with loaders and flaggers directing traffic. With all the noise and confusion, it's possible to miss something. I'm in the plumber truck. Be alert, communicate clearly, and take your time. Drivers may experience a lot of waiting and sitting in a truck for long periods of time. You can be exposed to excessive heat on hot days when your truck does not have air conditioning or when you have to wait with the engine off. Long exposure to hot temperatures can result in heat exhaustion. Some of the symptoms of heat exhaustion or heat stress are headaches, dizziness, lightheadedness, weakness, mood changes, nausea, and pale and clammy skin. Vomiting and fainting symptoms can also occur, and you should seek emergency medical assistance immediately. In hot weather, to avoid heat exhaustion, you need to keep hydrated by drinking plenty of water and by taking short breaks. Caffeine and some medications can deplete your body's essential electrolytes and affect your ability to cool down. Check with your physician if you have any questions about medications you may be taking.
Be sure to follow all of the safety rules, such as wearing your seatbelt and personal protective equipment. Always do your pre-trip inspections and keep on top of any equipment problems. When driving, pay attention, never get complacent, and always be aware of your immediate surroundings. Practice job site safety at each and every site. In hot weather, stay hydrated and look out for any signs of heat-related illness. Learn and use the three points of contact method for entering and exiting your truck. And finally, report any accidents, near misses, injuries, and unsafe conditions to your supervisor. Never use drugs or alcohol when driving, and if you're taking prescribed medication, check with your doctor about possible side effects that may impair your driving. Remember, a serious injury can cost you, your co-workers, and those you share the road with their lives. For everyone's sake, live up to your responsibility to act safely.